Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this celebration of achievement ceremony at Hartlepool College of Further Education, where we'll shine a great light on our students' successes for the 2019-2020 academic year. As we know, the second half of the 1920 academic year presented us with some of the biggest challenges we've faced in our lifetime as the coronavirus pandemic spread. We all had to think and act and behave in completely different ways, but the theme of tonight's awards is that of being proud. So ultimately, as the principal of the college, I'm proud of the way that staff and students stood up to meet the challenges with which we were presented. I'm proud of our teaching staff who had to switch pretty much overnight to fa from face-to-face -face delivery to online delivery utilising the latest technology. I'm proud of our business support staff who had to adapt to new ways of working to ensure the key business functions of the college kept operating. And I'm proud of our students who in a time of great uncertainty and great ambiguity knuckled down and worked hard and produced some excellent results, many of which you'll see tonight. I'm also proud of the fact that uh, staff and students, despite working and studying, also took time out to look out for those who needed extra help and support. So we made PPE for firms in the health and social care sector. We raised hundreds of pounds for charities such as the marvellous Alice House Hospice. And when lockdown one came and the coronavirus pandemic began to bite, we opened up our catering facilities for the marvellous Pooley Time Exchange so they could create meals for the most vulnerable in our community. But most of all, I'm proud of the fact that we didn't take our eye off the ball. We did what we've always done and done for over 170 years since we were founded in 1849 and that is work hard to help transform our students lives and you'll hear some great examples tonight. Finally from me I'd just like to say a big thank you and to express my gratitude to tonight's sponsors Gus Robinson Foundation, Hello, Bespoke Financials, Future Me, Teesside University, Orange Box Training, North Tees and Hartlepool NHS Trust, Seymour Civil Engineering and Just Williams. Your continued support of the college is greatly appreciated. All that leaves me to say now is that hopefully you're sitting comfortably, drinking your hand, maybe some snacks and enjoy the ceremony. Good evening everyone. My name is Sean Hope, Assistant Principal for Curriculum and Standards at Hartlepool College. You have seen and heard from Darren, our Principal, and now I'm just going to tell you how, this, how these awards will work. Our awards are split into different categories. For each of those categories, I'll give you a brief overview of what that curriculum area entails. I'll then pass you to Darren, who will talk you through the nominees and the overall winner for each category. Our award ceremony will culminate when we find out who is our overall student of the year from thousands that study at Hartlepool College. So relax, get prepared and good luck to all of those that have been nominated. First up, we have the award for the area of professional and creative studies. The School of Professional and Creative Studies has a wide diverse curriculum that includes business, accounting, management, art and design, computing, esports, and performing arts. This award has been sponsored by our friends at Just Williams. As you'll find a common theme throughout this evening, this is a high performing area with many strong employer links and positive progression supporting outstanding achievement. Over to Darren for the nominees. Well, thank you, Sean. We have four nominees for this category. First up, we have Jessica Cranich, who completed the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Business programme. She'd been described as being hardworking and conscientious. She'd made great progress and was ahead of the game come the first lockdown period, but she continued to work hard and be diligent during this first lockdown. This hard work paid off as she had a distinction star grade profile overall and she's now training to be an accountant. Next up we have Courtney Palmer who is on year one of a performing arts qualification. She was a dancer with little or acting or singing experience. That said she had an excellent attitude and commitment and developed her uh, acting and singing skills throughout the course of the programme. She's also performed in Blackpool at the World Cabaret Performer Competition. She's now on the second year of the programme looking to progress to university or to stage school. The third nominee is Georgia Bennians, who completed the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Art and Design. She's been described as being focused, determined, a consistent performer who made a concerted effort to improve over the two years of the programme. She had a triple distinction star grade profile and she had a range of offers to study at a number of universities but she's now at the wonderful Northern School of Art. 
And finally, we have Michael Ritchie, who completed the Access to Computing program. He was a late start to the year, and actually the interviewer was going to suggest that he started the following year because he'd missed so much of the program. That said, he gave an impressive interview, and his attitude to studying when he joined the group was first rate. He's hard working, dedicated, and always made the extra effort. That hard work paid off. He had seven out of eight distinction grades, and he's now at Aberdeen University studying for a degree in computer science. Well, some excellent nominees there, uh, but there can only be one winner of the Professional and Creative Studies Student of the Year, kindly sponsored by Just Williams, and that is Michael Ritchie. Our next award is for the Construction and the Built Environment Student of the Year. This award has been kindly sponsored by our friends from Seymour Civil Engineering. This area includes both the traditional construction trades and a thriving curriculum for professional and technical professions. This school takes part in many sector-based experiences as well as industry skills competitions to complement the great work at college improving student success. Over to Darren for the nominees. Well thank you Sean and there's just one nominee for this category this evening. It's a student who started with us a few years ago in 2018 on a building services engineer apprenticeship based at a company in Newcastle called Integral and the student was just age 16 at the time. Despite his young age he soon showed some great promise and dealt with the complexities of the job in an exemplary manner. He worked on a multi-million pound project at Newcastle University, been described as being an exemplary student, achieving 8 out of 12 distinction grades as a part of his uh, apprenticeship programme. He's now progressed on to a HNC building services qualification. So ladies and gentlemen, the Construction and Built Environment Student of the Year, kindly sponsored by Seymour Civil Engineering is Kaylin Christie. This next award is for the English and Mathematics Student of the Year. This has kindly been sponsored by the Future Me Project, a project that aims to raise aspiration across our college and the wider northeast. English and mathematics is a fundamental part of our curriculum, whether that is through GCSEs or functional skills, learners of all ages engage in English and mathematics provision. Over to Darren for the nominees. Thank you, Sean, and we have four wonderful nominees for this category. First up, we have Victoria Wiltek, who has been described as being hardworking from her first GCSE maths lesson. English wasn't her first language and that provided obvious barriers, but she just knuckled down, did extra work and sought clarification where it was needed. She did this especially during the first lockdown and put in extra effort to tackle the mastery questions. This was resulted with a grade five in GCSE maths, but she also got a grade five in GCSE biology and a grade six in physics. She's now progressed to do A-levels. Next we have Khalil Raymond who actually joined the college in the 18-19 academic year on entry level and then level one maths and described as being hard work, hard working and determined. These characteristics came to the fore during his GCSE. He also overcame dyscalculia and other health issues. He knuckled down in lessons, he worked hard especially during lockdown. He was worthy of a past grade. Next nominee is Matthew Wilson, who studied for GCSE English along with his uh, engineering qualification. Described as having a positive behaviour and attitude at all times, particularly during lockdown. He worked hard, submitted the work that was required and responded well to feedback. He got a pass grade and he's now progressed with his engineering qualification. And finally, we have Emily Fishburne who studied GCSE English along with her health and social care qualification. Been described as being determined to succeed, completed all tasks to a very high standard. She's proactive, sought out opportunities to improve, especially during lockdown. She's richly rewarded with a pass grade. I'm sure you'll agree there were four wonderful nominees for this category, but the English and Maths Student of the Year, kindly sponsored by Future Me, is... Khalil Raymond. Our next award is for the Fabrication, Welding and Automotive Student of the Year. This award has kindly been sponsored by North Tees and Hartlepool NHS Trust. Thank you. The success in this area is in creating highly skilled individuals who flourish in their industry. This is achieved through the instruction and guidance provided by our sector expert tutors and the highest standards set in skill development. Darren will take you through the award nominees. 
Well, thank you, Sean. We have two nominees for this category tonight. First up, we have Jack Westgarth. So Jack has actually been at the college for five years on a fabrication and welding apprenticeship with a firm called Darkham based in Stillington in Stockton. He's got a 98% attendance record in his five years and he's progressed from level two all the way through to HNC, which is level four. Been described as being a highly committed and dedicated student, produces high quality of work. He's got an exceptional ability to identify and analyze the key subject features and problems. He's got a grade profile of six distinctions and two merits with his main fabrication and welding qualification. The second nominee is Stephen Appleby, who joined the college in the 16-17 academic year on a level two fabrication and welding qualification. He got a work experience at MassFab in County Durham and they soon offered him an apprenticeship. He progressed to level three where his hard work and dedication resulted in a double distinction star grade profile. Been described as being an outstanding craftsman and he's now progressed on to the HNC. Well, two excellent nominees for this category, both uh, showing great longevity with the college and showing great uh, aptitude for growing and developing and improving uh, in that period with the college. But the Fabrication, Welding and Automotive Engineering Student of the Year, kindly sponsored by North Tees and Arlipool NHS Trust, is Stephen Appleby. Next, we have the award for Student of the Year for Service Industries. The Service Industries Award covers a wide and diverse offer. This award is sponsored by Halo, a relatively new Hartlepool based recruitment company that just like the college, are passionate about progression into employment. This award covers the areas of hairdressing, beauty, hospitality, catering and travel and tourism. Over to Darren for the nominees. Thank you, Sean. We have four wonderful nominees for this category. First up, we have Georgia Hutchinson, who completed the Level 1 Diploma in Culinary Skills Qualification. She's been described as having a positive attitude towards her studies and an inspiration to others. Her hard work and dedication led to all distinction grades, which is the highest possible grade profile. She supported others through the first lockdown, regularly checking in and posting videos and photos. She's now progressed to Level 2. Next, we have Liam Best, who started on a level one hairdressing program a few years ago at the college and over the years has progressed to level three. He's been excellent in the practical environment, he's competed in Northeast inter-college hairdressing competitions, enjoying his level three qualification at a trial in a local hairdressers where he's now gained employment. Next, we have Paris Bettinson, who completed the level two certificate in beauty specialist treatments. She was initially a little bit quiet, quiet and shy, but she soon started to flourish and excel in both theory and practical environments. She's grown in confidence and she's now progressed to a level three programme. And finally, we have Nicola Wright, who joined the college in 2016 on the Level 2 Travel and Tourism Progress. Her hard work and tenacity means that she's uh, progressed through to Level 3, where she also completed her English and Maths GCSEs and an Aviation Certificate, and she subsequently progressed through to a Foundation degree. So excellent standard of work throughout and great commitment and maturity. She's now completed Year 1 of the Foundation degree with a 2-1 grade profile. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you agree, four wonderful nominees for this category. But the Service Industries Student of the Year, kindly sponsored by Hello, is Liam Best. Next up, we have the award for the Sport and Public Services Student of the Year. This award has kindly been sponsored by Orange Box Training. Thank you. Although different, the common theme that runs between Sport and Public Services is they are active. Whether our students are Kayaking the River Tees, or they're delivering exercise sessions in the Luminary Fitness Suite. They add an element of activity to all of their studies. Let's find out who the nominees are. Well, thank you, Sean. And we have two nominees for this category. First, we have Lauren Crute, who completed the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Public Services after doing a year of A-levels. Now, uh, now, Lauren was at the Ariana Grande concert in Manchester a few years ago, which we know ended in devastation. But for Lauren, that sparked an interest in public services and wanting to help people. Described as being hardworking and dedicated throughout her course and also went above and beyond by doing lots of voluntary work as well. She's got a triple distinction star grade profile. That's the highest possible. She's now progressed to university where she's training to be a paramedic. 
The second nominee is Billy Clark, who completed the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Sport. He had 100% attendance and punctuality over the two years of the qualification. A keen footballer, he played for the college and also the county, where he was also the Player of the Year. An excellent attitude and approach to his studies. He also got a triple distinction star grade profile and he's now at Durham University, where he was offered a scholarship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree to real high quality nominees for this category. But the Sports and Public Services Students of the Year, kindly sponsored by Orange Box Training, is Lauren Crute. Up next is the Inclusive Learner Award. And we are really grateful to Bespoke Financial Group for sponsoring this category. We are immensely proud of the inclusivity of our students. Learners with a learning difficulty or disability perform outstandingly well at Hartlepool College. In fact, in the last academic year, learners with a declared difficulty or disability outperformed their peers that don't. What an achievement that is. Over to Darren for our nominees for this award. Well, thank you, Sean. And we have two nominees for this category. First up, we have Luke Parvin, who completed the Level 1 Diploma in Vocational Studies qualification. Been described as a bit of pleasure to teach and a lovely young man. He was superb before lockdown with the right attitude and always exhibiting the perfect behaviours. During lockdown, he embraced new ways of studying and working and the technology. He's now progressed onto a Level 2 Art and Design programme. The second nominee is Andrew Barnett, who completed the Level 2 Diploma in Professional Cookery after completing the Level 1 programme. Described as having a positive attitude and being the perfect gentleman, he's hard working and model student, he's now progressed on to a Level 3 programme. Well, two delightful nominees for this category and ladies and gentlemen, the Inclusive Learning Student of the Year, kindly sponsored by Bespoke Financial is... Andrew Barnett. This award is for the Access to Higher Education Student of the Year and it has been kindly sponsored by our friends at Teesside University. Access to Higher Education Awards are a really challenging qualification that within one year give the students, predominantly adults, all of the skills, knowledge and behaviours they need to progress onto higher education qualifications at university. The nominees are well, thank you, Sean. And we have two nominees for this category this evening. First up is Lydia Boyd-Hill, who was on the Access to Science programme. Uh, it was the first return to formal learning in a long time for Lydia, uh, but her ability shone through from day one. She's been described as being highly intelligent and very well read. She's got distinction grades for all modules, and she now aims to progress to university in this September, September 2021, to study theology at Durham University. And there was a lovely quote from from, uh, Lydia's uh, tutor says, Lydia, I will never forget you. And the second nominee is Michael Ritchie, who we've already heard from this evening. He studied on the Access to Computing program. He was a late starter to the program, but he made extra efforts to produce some high quality work. He got seven out of eight distinction grades, and he's now at Aberdeen University reading for a degree in computer science. Well, I'm sure you'll agree, ladies and gentlemen, two high quality nominees for this category and access to higher education is a wonderful programme. As we've heard tonight, it takes uh, predominantly adult learners who have uh, been out of formal education um, for a long time, gets those to a position where they can apply to go to university or follow another higher education qualification. But this year at the Access to Higher Education Students of the Year, kindly sponsored by Teesside University is... Lydia Boyd-Hill. We now move on to the Michael Bretherick Engineering Award, named after our former principal. Michael retired in 2013 after serving over 30 years here at Hartlepool College as lecturer, curriculum leader, senior manager and principal. It was during that time that his drive, commitment and leadership propelled the curriculum area of engineering to be regarded as one of the best in the country and attracted support with hundreds of engineering companies. This award recognises the one st standout student out of over 1,000 in the School of Engineering.
Well, just one nominee for this award tonight, and it's uh, someone we've heard from already, someone who's been at the college for five years and in that time has a 98% uh, ascendance record, is an apprentice at Darkham following a fabrication and welding apprenticeship and has progressed from level two all the way through to HNC in his time with the college. Superb grade profile throughout and high quality work exhibiting exceptional ability. So ladies and gentlemen, the Michael Bretherick Engineering Student of the Year is Jack Westgarth. Next up, we have the Yap Crozer Scholarship. This award was established with a trust fund set up by the employees of THC Fabricators to mark the untimely death in Amsterdam of Yap Crozer Jr. This long established award rewards an annual scholarship to the student who works through the college, achieves with great distinction and represents the greatest potential for progression towards higher education. Over to Darren to announce the winner. Just one winner of the Yap Cruiser Scholarship this evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a young person who was on the Extended Diploma in Engineering programme and in uh, the two years of the programme had a 100% attendance record. Described as being an outstanding student, was also a winner of a computer-aided design competition, a polite, a professional young man, with a triple distinction star grade profile and he's now studying at the college with a HNC Mechanical Engineering programme where he is excelling. So ladies and gentlemen, the Yap Cruiser Scholarship for this year goes to Elliot Fox. Next, we have the award for the Gus Robinson Foundation Apprentice of the Year. The Gus Robinson Foundation has been a great supporter of the college for almost 10 years. The foundation, created in honour of the late Gus Robinson, a successful local businessman and philanthropist, supports young people across Hartlepool and the surrounding areas to raise their aspiration. This award will recognise the Apprentice of the Year. Apprenticeships were close to the heart of Gus Robinson and through his construction business, he recruited and trained hundreds from across Hartlepool. This award will recognise the one standout apprentice from the college's cohort of over 800. Thank you, Sean. And we have two nominees for this category and uh, both uh, young people we've heard from already this evening. First up is Kayleen Christie, who started at the college in 2018 on a building services engineer apprenticeship at Integral in Newcastle. He was 16 at the time, but soon showed some great promise and dealt with the complexities of the job in an exemplary manner. He worked on a multi-million pound project at Newcastle University, been described as an exemplary student with eight out of 12 distinction grades, and he's now progressed onto the HNC Building Services Programme. The second nominee is Stephen Appleby, who joined the college in the 2016-17 academic year on a level two fabrication and welding qualification. He had work experience at MassFab in County Durham, and they soon offered him an apprenticeship. He progressed on to level three, and his hard work and dedication led to a double distinction star grade profile. He's been described as being an outstanding craftsman and has also progressed on to the HNC in fabrication and welding. Well, two high quality nominees for this category and both Kaylin and Stephen can be extremely proud that they've been shortlisted for this uh, award out of about 800 apprentices at the college. So ladies and gentlemen, the Gus Robinson Foundation Apprentice of the Year is Stephen Appleby. Well, here we are then, ladies and gentlemen, the final award of the evening, and it's the overall Hartlepool College Further Education Student of the Year for 2020. So all of the award winners from tonight's ceremony are shortlisted for this award. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the Hartlepool College of Further Education Student of the Year for 2020 is... There we are, ladies and gentlemen, that brings to a close the Hartlepool College of Further Education Celebration of Achievement Ceremony for this year. 
big congratulations to all of the people who were nominated tonight and particularly those who uh, won awards and a big congratulations to Jack for the overall Student of the Year award, a very worthy winner. Um, I think big credit goes to all of the students at the college who have not only produced some excellent work as we've heard tonight, but they've also done that whilst dealing with the challenges that's been presented by coronavirus, the coronavirus pandemic. So big congratulations to all the students at Hartlepool College of Further Education for how they dealt with the 2019-2020 academic year. I look forward to getting back to some semblance of normality for the 2021 awards. Uh, all being well, that will be a face-to-face -face affair in our wonderful conference facilities here at the college. For those uh, people nominated and the award winners tonight, we'll be in touch with you shortly to ensure that we can get your certificates and awards to you. And for everybody else, thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your evening and I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Thank you for your time.